Hey, shrub crafters. I wanted to share. Let me see if I can get this on the other side for you instead of reverse. 44 years of the life of a hunter, of Meshack Browning, Maryland hunter, roughly written down by himself. There's my little bottle, baby. Woo, sorry, there's Raya. She almost didn't make it. it was born at 1 a.m. on a snow-frozen day. So it is raining, lightly drizzling. You gotta get her. Come on, Raya. Come here. Here we go. Get up. She wants her bottle. <laughs> there she is. Awesome little Raya. So anyway, overcast day three or four of rain. Cute little babies. Meshack Browning, one of my favorite books to read when I'm not hunting in the off season. Um, <clears throat> She's ready to go. Yeah. So um, I got it on Amazon. It's a reprint. Some of the pages have a, a few things. It's a very redundant book, but um, in terms of, you know, I killed the deer, three deer, four deer, but it's one of my favorite because he talks about the had to reposition baby. Um, he talks about being able to hunt and living on the actual frontier, you know, with, of what is now Maryland. And he's uh, well known in that area. He's outdoorsman and killed uh, a lot of bear, a lot of deer. There she goes. So if you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend it, especially in the off season. I mean, turkey season is upon us. Well, <laughs> turkey season is upon us. Anyway, Meshack Browning, check it out. It's um. It's interesting because he lived in the 1700s into the 1800s, had a hundred and something kids spawned uh, that he says uh, in his family. And uh, he made his life as a hunter of the era and as actually a very well renowned hunter. Um, <laughs> come on, Rhea. And uh, it goes to show you that the average common person did not, uh, you know, was not. Uh, uh, you know, everyday woodsman, woods runner, and all that. So he talks about uh, chasing deer in the snow, um, freezing, how to stay warm. <laughs> Sorry, trying to get uh, Ray to eat. She does this funny thing where she presses against me because she thinks I'm the goat, her mama. She is funny. Second ball. So anyway, yeah, it. Um, but his wife. Uh, ta he talks about his wife actually trading. Uh, some hides and some fur uh, for lead for two pounds of lead so he could actually get balls to go out and uh, hunt. Um, and he talks about just uh, pure survival um, and going through and that, uh, you know, just the amount of deer that he killed. And he actually talks about seasons. I know I've, on some of the muzzleloading forums, you talk about the people saying they're unethical and that whatever they did. And, uh, that's not the case in the 1700s. Uh, as late 1700s, and he was in the War of 1812. He was actually uh, a volunteer. And so um, he talks about the season ending in January uh, and talking during a season. So even back then, he talks about you know the ethical chasing of game. Now, the one thing that he has that we don't have is uh, no boundaries. So he talks about you know going 8 miles, 10 miles, uh, chasing deer and dropping uh, 10 deer in a day or more sometimes. Uh, and having some competitions with other hunters, uh, what he could do. But if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. And uh, since I've got a slight break in the weather, I mean, it's drizzling on me, feeding the baby. Gotta go do some eggs. Um, but I just figured it's one of those I would uh, share if you haven't had the opportunity to read that. And then leave in, your, uh, leave in the comments, if you can, your favorite books uh, of the era that uh, help pass the time. And once this uh, weather clears a little bit here, it is turkey season. I go out this weekend on Sunday, I think, and uh, right there. Um, <laughs> I go out on Sunday and uh, see what we can't score. 
Um, it's going to be at a different piece of property, so I probably won't film. Uh, I mean, I'll try to bring a camera, but, uh, you know, we'll see. I've got, uh, I'll have the wife with me and go to a, a buddy's property. So anyway, um, leave in the comments uh, what books you like to read of the era that kind of get you through uh, in between hunting season. Because, you know, as soon as hunting season ends, I'm already thinking about the next one. And, you know, here we are May 2nd. Um, you know, I'm just in the countdown phase now.